Today I want to talk about indexes. Nothing in depth, but a few useful tips that your programmers may find helpful. First, I want to go through some of the common assumptions about cases where indexes cannot be used. And we'll see that perhaps they can be. And then we'll finish off with a demonstration of how disastrous indexes can be for performance of some operations. We have all heard that a predicate of the form where so-and-so is null cannot use an index and will always result in a full table scan. Why? Because nulls are not included in a B-tree index. The only way to get your nulls in an index is to use a bitmap index, but that requires has licensing implications and may have some other implications for performance. Well, this isn't necessarily true. There's a very easy solution, which is to use a compound index. Working in the Scott schema, let's consider a query against the column com commission. It's select star from emp where commission com is null. If I create an index on that column, create index com i on emp com, then enable the auto trace facility, and now run my query. Select star from emp where com is null. Back come the rows and the bad news. Full table scan. To apply that filter, there was no way to use the index. Well, yes, there is. I'll drop the index I just created and create one with a very slightly different structure, a compound index on com and a constant. Now run the same query. And magic, we're getting an index range scan. And that is a very simple solution to a very common problem. This next example is how to make queries that use the like operator with wildcards indexable. The solution to this common problem is to use a text index. In the old days, you had to pay for the context cartridge, but text is now included in all editions. Programmers do need to be aware of the fact the index exists and there is a bit of maintenance required for them. But in general, this is a very simple solution to a very common problem. This time I'm going to work in the table scott.dept. And I'm going to run queries against the lock column. To optimize the queries, I'll create an index. Create index lock i on dept lock. And now run a query that uses the like operator and a wildcard. Select star from depth where lock like new percent. I want to get that row for New York. No problem. Index range scan, back comes the row. But what if I run the query with a slightly different predicate? This time, select star from depth where lock like percent York percent. Back comes the row. But oh dear we had to revert to a full table scan to apply the predicate. But maybe not. I'll create another index now with a different structure. Create index lock ctx on depth lock. Index type is ctx sys context. Make this a text index. Now run the query. Note that the syntax is slightly different. In my predicate, I have to use the contains operator. Select star from depth where contains lock york greater than zero, back comes my row, and magic, it used my index. A very simple solution to a very common problem. This next example of a common myth is that function-based indexes cannot be used unless the function is included in the predicates. Well, in recent releases of the database, that is not necessarily true. The cost-based optimizer can do some very clever rewrites and depending on the nature of the function-based index, you may not need to know that the function is there at all. I'm going to work in the emp table for this example, creating an index on the higher date column, but I'm going to wrap higher date in a function, create index hdi on emp trunk higher date, the truncation of the higher date column. A simple function-based index 
popular wisdom would have it that to use this index, I must use the function around my predicate. I could, for example, run a query such as this. Select star from emp, where higher date equals trunk. Trunk, to date, 23rd of Jan, 1982. And that used the index. But popular wisdom has it that it only used the index because I included that function there. So my programmers had to know about what was going on. Well, is that actually true? Let's try running a simpler predicate. Select star from emp where hard date equals to date, 23rd of January 1982. Does it use the index? Yes, it does. The optimizer is very clever nowadays, and if you see what it's done, it's rewritten my predicate, higher date equals to date, 23rd Jan. That's been rewritten to trunk of higher date, which is the function based index, equals trunk to date, 23rd of Jan. Very clever rewrite, and you may find that function based indexes give you more value than you were expecting. This last tip is meant to show how bad indexes really can be for performance. Yes, indexes may improve the performance of select statements, but too many indexes will cripple your DML. Of course, an index may help the row selection part of a DML statement, but indexes will always degrade performance dreadfully, perhaps much worse than many developers realize. To set up this problem, I'm just going to create a very simple table. Create table T1, C1, varchar2, 10. I've set timing on so we can see what happens when we insert a few rows. So in this statement, insert into T1, select some characters, connect by level, less than a million. So I've inserted a million rows and that took a bit over half a second. Now, what happens if we repeat the exercise, but this time with an index. I'll drop the table to make sure it's a level playing field. Recreate the table with the same structure. And this time, include an index on that one column. Create index I1 on T1, C1. And now insert my one million rows. Pretty bad, isn't it? So my insert of a million rows went from about half a second to over 10 seconds. So that's about a 20 times performance degradation. And that's just with one simple index. And when you see tables that have 5, 10, 20 indexes, ask yourself why? Because all those indexes really will be crippling your DML. So that was my attempt to bust some of the popular myths about indexes. What do you need to do next? You need to evaluate your indexing strategy. Are your indexes really working? Could they actually work a bit better? And the vital point about all this is that to tune your application, you must understand your data, you must understand your queries, and design an indexing strategy that will optimize those queries without degrading anything else.